Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about the range of a sign magnitude representation, ones complement representation and twos complement representation. Let's discuss about it. Okay. Suppose if I have n bit number. Okay. If I have n bit number, then the range of sign magnitude representation is minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. Because using the sign magnitude representation or 1's complement representation, 2's complement representation, we can represent the both the negative numbers and positive numbers. Let's see what is the meaning of it. If I have n bits, let's take that example I have 3 bits are there. n value I am considering it as 3. If n value is 3, you have 3 bits. Out of 3 bits, I am keeping 1 bit for sign because we have a sign bit. Because if it is a positive number, we will keep the sign bit as 0. If it is a negative number, we will keep the sign bit as 1. Okay. So now, here I can keep the maximum element is 1, 1. Am I right? In 2 bits, using 2 bits, I can keep 1, 1 at max. If I keep 0, this will be plus 3. The same way, if 1, 1, if I keep a 1 here, sign bit I am keeping 1 and this 2 bits maximum value I can keep it as 1. So, it will be minus 3. Am I right? Using the sign magnitude representation. So, that's what they are telling. So, if you have 3 bits, you can keep the maximum element as plus 3 and negative number is minus 3. If you want to verify, you can verify it. This is 2 power 3 minus 1. So, 2 power 2 minus 1 to 2 power 2 minus 1. 2 power 2 is how much? 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Negative number because you have a negative sign. 2, 4 minus 1, 3. So, that's what they are saying. You can, using if you have n, 3 bits, you can represent maximum minus 3 to 3 numbers. Okay. So, this is the minimum number and this is the maximum number you can represent it using the 3 bits. Now, we will see the 1's complement representation. 1's complement representation is also saying the same thing. Minus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. Okay. The same for the 1's complement representation. Now, we will come to the 2's complement representation. 2's complement representation, what they are saying? Minus 2 power n minus 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. What is the difference between the sign magnitude 1's complement and 2's complement? If you don't have minus 1 here. Whereas here you are saying minus 3. But here if I say this one, it will be minus 4. Why it is so, we will discuss now. Okay. Why this 2's complement can able to represent minus 4 to 3? Am I right or wrong? If I take 3 bits, out of 3 bits, 1 bit is for sign, then 2 power 2 minus 1 minus 4, 2 power 2 means 2 power 3 minus 1 is 2 power 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, minus 4 is the minimum number and maximum number I can store it as 3. Now, why it is happening, we will discuss. You take a positive 0 and minus 0 using the sign magnitude representation. Okay. Let's write like this. I have a plus 0 and minus 0 using the sign magnitude representation, using the 1's complement representation and 2's complement representation. How it will look, we will discuss now. Okay. Now, let's take that I want to represent, this is 3 bit number. Let's take an example. This is a 3 bit number. If it is a 3 bit number, 1 bit is for sign and remaining 2 bits for the binary value. Now, as it is a positive number, you will have a 0 here. And as it is a 0, you will have 0, zeros here. Okay. As it is a negative 0, you will have a sign bit as 1 and 2 zeros you will be there. And comes to the 1's complement. 1's complement, how we will write? 0, 0, 0. When it comes to the 1's complement plus 0, if you want to represent it as a minus 0 in the negative number, then how you will represent 1's complement of it? 1's complement of it is all 1's. Okay. Now, come to the 2's complement. 
plus 0 will be represented like this. That's what I have discussed in the last video also. The positive number, even the sign magnitude, 1's complement, 2's complement will have the same form. Now comes to the 2's complement. How I'll calculate the 2's complement? First, I will calculate the 1's complement of it. 1's complement is 1, 1, 1 and add 1 to it. Okay. So, 0 because 1 and 1 if I perform or let me write here. Okay. 1, 1, 1 is the 1's complement. If I add 1, okay, 1 plus 1, the sum is 0, carry is 1. Okay, then again 1 and 1, sum is 0, carry is 1. Okay, then 1 and 1, the sum is 0, carry is 1. Using 3 bits, because we are talking about 3 bits only. If it is 3 bits, can I represent this one? Can I store this one? No, this is out power flow condition. So, using 3 bits, minus 0 also in 2's complement will have the same thing, 0, 0, 0. Now, one point I want to discuss, whether it is a plus 0 or minus 0. If it is a plus 0 or minus 0, it is a 0 only. So, all the representation, the plus 0 and minus 0 should be in the same form. But whereas in the sign magnitude representation and one's complement representation, the plus 0 and minus 0 have two representations. Whereas in two's complement, it is having the same representation. So that's why we always prefer to go for the two's complement representation. So in the sign magnitude and one's complement representation, you have minus 0 and 0 as a separate representation whereas here it will have only one representation so that's why you can be able to store another one value which is minus 4 to 3 whereas uh, the sign magnitude and one's complement representation able to store minus 3 to 3 value only so i hope you have understood why we will go for the two's complement representation while representing the negative numbers and what is the range of a sign magnitude representation, one's complement representation and two's complement representation. If you have any doubts with regarding this topic, feel free to ask it in the comment section. I will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a nice day.